Hey family, Thick and Curly here, and I wanted to come up here today and show you guys my very first crochet wig. Woohoo! Super excited about it. And if you're interested in how I got this look, okay, so I wanted to show you guys the hair. So this is the first pack. It's Bohemian Curl, um, and it's by Miracle Brand. So here's the first pack of hair. You can see this one is longer. Um, I'm actually not sure how many inches this is. And then these are the next two packs. These are the Expressions Corkscrew 18 inch. So I've already opened one. This is the color two, this is a one. Um, so I'm probably, I wanna use this for most of the bottom and then I'm gonna start mixing them in. So this is probably a 24, just comparing it to that. They're very similar curl patterns. This is the corkscrew, this is the bohemian. And why am I using two different types of hair? Because that is what I had, yay! So that's what I'm using. Okay guys, so I am starting with, sorry about that. I am starting with my mannequin head, and then I have the um, wig cap. This is the netted one. And you can buy the pins at the beauty supply store to stick here so that it can stay. But I knew that I had these big old fun um, thumbtacks. So I just have them sticking in the mannequin head. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with the longer hair. And I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, so I'm going to start right here on the nape of the neck. And I'm going to go through about four or five holes. And then from there you're crocheting just like you would do, sorry about that, you're crocheting just like you would do your natural hair. I'm definitely gonna have to get something to keep her from spinning. And of course you can double knot it if you like. Y'all know I like it secure. Okay guys, so I'm gonna actually start filling in from the front. In the back, it's the darker, longer hair. But I want to fill in the front because I like the curl pattern of the two better. And then whatever happens in the middle or back, that will. But I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the shorter, lighter hair here and work my way back.
Okay guys, so I'm definitely gonna continue to shape it and mold it, um, but I really am actually in a hurry, so I just wanted to come up here and show you all really quick. Um, so there is everything. And all the hair that I have left out is this little bit right here that I have twisted because I am a stickler for just like making stuff realistic. So I'm just literally pulling that over this little band piece right here. Right there. A little bit of gel. And then of course, I am gelling down the edges. Sorry, I'm in a hurry, but I will definitely come up here one more time when I have it completely fixed and completely done. Hey loves, me and sister girl have been through a whole lot. So I actually went back and re corn rolled my hair to have some leave out. So now I'm just gonna pull a little bit out. Um, yeah, me and this wig have been all over the place. I um, have realized that I'm just genuinely not comfortable with full wigs. I always want some type of leave out. A little bit of gel right there. Okay, so as you can see, I went back and cut it some more, it's a little bit shorter. And then on top of cutting it, I ran my fingers through it even more so they could get even bigger.